Hi, in this video I'm going to explain and demonstrate the difference between a switch and a relay. Over here I've got a few rocker switches. Now rocker switches work as follows that when you press them you are now closing the circuit and when you press in the other direction you are opening the circuit. These are latching as you can see as I press it it stays in that position. So over here I've got a multimeter and it is set to measure continuity and as you can see when I close the circuit it is showing a short circuit and that noise is telling me a short circuit. If I look at the resistance you can see it's less than 2 ohm short circuit but when I rock the switch in the other direction you can see it is now an open circuit. So this is what we call a latching switch. Now not all switches are latching for example over here I've got what we call a limit switch and only when I depress this leaf spring do we see it's a short circuit. When I release this you can hear it is now an open circuit. And another example of a switch are momentary switches so as you depress them they either break a circuit or make a circuit. This is called a push to make switch and only when I depress this is it a short circuit. When I release it it is now an open circuit so this is a momentary switch. So on the left here these are all types of switches. On the right these are all relays. So the main difference is that the switch requires the user to initiate the opening and closing. There we go, I open or I close. The relay on the other hand relies on an electrical current which flows through a coil which initiates the change. I'll now demonstrate that. Right, over here I've removed the cover of this relay and on the inside you can see there is a winding on this side and then there are some contacts on the other side. Now what happens here, we can see we've got two terminals here. These terminals are connected to a supply. Now this is a DC relay so I need to connect a DC voltage here and when I do it creates an electromagnetic field and when it does that this platform is attracted to this electromagnet. Remember that when we connect a voltage and the current flows through this winding it sets up a magnetic field and it pulls this platform close to the coil because of the magnetic attraction. When that happens it forces that middle contact to move. In the rest position the contact was resting on this one but when the relay is activated this is pushed to the other contact. I'll quickly demonstrate that by applying a voltage here. Right this is a 24 volt relay and when I apply the voltage notice how that electromagnetic force is in operation and how it opens and closes the contacts. So we can see that the main difference between the switch and the relay is that the switch requires a user to press the button but a relay requires a current. A voltage is applied and a current flows through a coil initiating a magnetic field which therefore pushes the contacts together. So we are using one circuit to control another circuit while the switch just requires the user to press a button. Or in the case of a rotary switch, turn the knob. This is a rotary switch. While the relay on the other hand requires an electrical input to operate the relay. On this side, this is like a switch on this side because you can see that I've got two contacts and it becomes like a switch. There you can see I'm closing the switch, opening the switch. There you can see between these two contacts it is open circuit and when I push the contacts together it's like I'm closing a switch. Opening the switch, closing the switch. You could think of this as an electrically controlled switch and we call it an electromagnetic relay because I require current and voltage that's the electro part and that sets up a magnetic field that's the magnetic part and there is a state change and there is the relay action. So to switch on and off our appliances we use switches switching on and off lights but what happens if we wanted to set it on a timer then we would use a relay. So over here I've got two examples of what people call timer switches but inside there's actually a relay. If you open that up you will see that inside there's a relay and what happens is it uses electronic control. You're making settings on a microcontroller which then outputs that to the relay which opens and closes the contacts allowing current to flow in your light or maybe your boiler or maybe it's a pool pump whatever it is this uses the relay based on the electronic control. Therefore the user doesn't have to go and switch on and off. We now use electronic control to control our appliances. Thanks for watching and cheers.